All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Golf Balling Podcast, episode 169. We got a big one here, hey. folks. Is it a prime number, Jackson? Uh, I can't quite remember what qualifies oh a God. prime number. Uh, I think so, yeah, right? No, it's 169 is 13 squared. Well, there you have it. That's not a prime numbered episode, unfortunately. So, so who really gives a shit about this episode? <laughs> yeah, this episode, nobody. Skip. Everyone just turns it off. Average, <laughs> average watch time is just like five seconds. It would actually be funny if our prime numbered episodes actually had better, like l- numbers, like more listeners. I hope they do. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> let's do a let's do a deep dive on that. <laughs> Good. We'll, we'll put Steve on that. He's got that for us. Yeah, Steve's going to be busy I can't believe today. the Steve joke is still going. <laughs> It'll always be, be here. Mm-hmm. Steve's got some clipping he needs to do. Yeah. He's got work. Honestly, I think it may be time to fire Steve. What's, <laughs> what's he done recently? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that's the problem, but, I mean, we believe in him. I mean, I just don't know that we can afford him anymore. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. We do his job for him. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally 100% of his job we do for him. Yeah, I mean the jobs never get done. And we gets we done. pay him, we pay him two hundred grand a year. It's ridiculous. <laughs> a lot of money. Yeah, it's like he gets paid six pesos, or hundred pesos. We pay him hundred oh. pesos. Oh, now you'll take pesos, All right? <laughs> <laughs> I forget where right. we were where I offered you my pesos, but I'm sure yeah, that's was... the pesos. That's the oh, pesos. You... Oh, so you took the pesos. I mean, I didn't, you said, oh, here's six, like, oh, I owe you six dollars. Here's six dollars and just gave me six dollars in pesos. Um, Is that a hundred pesos? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It was like, it was, it, yeah. Sure it about, was, wow. I think six dollars of pesos would be it, like You gave me a little bit more. Six okay. cents. Whatever. You gave me a hundred. Could we just get on with the podcast and not talk about currency? Oh, he shorted you. Six dollars is 123 pesos. He gave me like a hundred and a fifty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I gave him like six cents or something. Well, actually, it's useless. It's useless in this country. So, uh, I mean, you can go to a currency exchange. Yeah, I'm going to go to the currency exchange. Here, I have six dollars. I have 150 pesos. Please give me my money. I go to the currency exchange once a year to get my new license plate sticker. What? Oh, my mom does that for doing? me. Yeah, my mom does that for me. I have, um, I just want to share this story real quick. I, stop me if I've said this on the pod, but when we... Is this your surprise? No, when we were, like, when we first got to Cabo and we went to the alcohol, the liquor store, this guy, like, I asked for Pacificos in a bottle and he brings out two 24 packs um but anyways he follows mm-hmm. us to the car and i'm thinking all right, all right he's expecting a tip and i think i handed him like 10 cents or something i guess apparently with the pesos you, you gave him 20 pesos yeah so wow. that's what like a dollar i don't yeah a little less than a dollar <laughs> he wasn't thrilled but i didn't ask for it so i don't really feel too bad um also guys we're on youtube so if this video gets so over 40 surprise? views no uh, you know what? If we'll go, we'll shoot for the stars in this episode. If this episode gets over fifty views on YouTube, <laughs> that sounds so depressing. We'll do something super cool to one of the commenters. If someone actually comments on the podcast on the Gulp on YouTube channel, I will do something for you. So we'll keep it vague, though. Um, but yeah, no. I'm waiting to introduce. I told the boys I had a surprise a couple of minutes 20 minutes ago and um i'm waiting for the proper time to int- proper time to introduce it so probably about 41 now sean yeah, it's actually 42 okay is it like a guest you're just gonna add no no to no it's or... just like when it comes up it's i don't right. even want to start talking because i just feel like you're gonna interrupt with something stupid mm. i'm actually not wearing pants in today's what? episode um, was that the surprise? No, no. That was a joke only people watching the podcast can get that actually no one's going to I understand. honestly couldn't even 
I'll, ch I'll chat really it. See it. I'll chat it. They're gonna chat the surprise? No, this is not the surprise. You won't know when the surprise is coming, Nick. Let's just talk about golf, right? You're so eager that's the whole to talk point about of a surprise. Golf. Nick wants to talk about golf today. I mean, it's been a long time. I know. I missed the pod. I missed doing it. So let's talk golf. Right? Do, we, yeah, do we start? Do we start with last week, or is that old news? I think we need to start with Jordan Spieth not being able to close golf tournaments. I don't know. I mean, in his defense, he did flush the shit out of that eight iron on seventeen. He just—I mean—he just miscalculated the yardage. Yeah, well, rookie, fucked up rookie the mistake. Rookie mistake. Yeah. yeah like Greller, Greller was like, "Oh, the adrenaline will be enough." And he said it was the best golf shot he hit all week. Wow. <laughs> just flew straight in the bunker. Did he really? Oh. Yeah. That, that was the most depressing. Also, we need to talk about that shot he hit next to the cliff. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah. That was psychotic. Happy. That was psychotic. I mean, on, on a down slope like that. What else are you going to do? down slope like that. Taking a it was in a hazard. You can't take no, it was it was in a hazard. Like that was past the hazard line. So what does that mean? He could have just taken a drop. And have plus one added to a stroke. Yeah, but like, <laughs> I'd rather do that. I mean, there was a legitimate risk that he fell. What do you think the and camera actually, crew would have done if he fell? Like cut out panda. Ryan you Palmer? have to cut out. You can't watch a guy yeah. die on live TV. Yeah. That would probably be the I do. Does, does the tournament stop? I would imagine everything stops. I think, and that would probably be like the biggest catastrophe in recent. Because I, I would Jordan's, be a little pissed if I was playing the round of my life. And if Jordan life and Jordan's... died in a golf tournament, I think they have to stop it. Yeah, but that would. I mean, I would be kind of pissed if Jordan Speed like was an idiot and like oh, I, I'd be pissed if I was like playing the round of my life or something, or maybe I'm leading and if maybe I'm Tom Hogue and I'm going to win this golf tournament. And Jordan hoagie. Spieth does some hoagie and does some bullshit like this to cost me the win. I'd be kind of pissed. I'd be kind of pissed at him. I'd be, I I wouldn't feel sorry for him. I mean, um, at that point, if you're Tom Hoagie, you wouldn't know that you're going to win the golf tournament. What if he but, um, fell, dies? I hate talking. This, this sounds like such a shitty topic to talk about. This what is if so he, dark. He fell and died, and then they just like keep playing through. Like that doesn't sound right. Like. Imagine no. what hole was that I think, on? Like, I think they'd have to stop the tournament. But what if they didn't? And whatever hole he was on, it's like the next group comes and they're just like, CBS is just trying not to like. <laughs> I don't know. The next group just like looks down like, oh, there's Jordan's body. <laughs> or what's left of it. Do you think they'd play golf at Pebble Beach again? I feel like it would be kind of like scarred. I don't know if they play another tournament there. That'd Do you think the they'd craziest. put a commemorative plaque like they did for Tiger? <laughs> Or no, oh. that's a Tory. That's a Tory, my bad. Oh, God. It's so Just put a plaque here. Here lies Jordan Speed. Oh, God. That was fucked. Um, I loved, I loved Greller, though. Like, Greller was so anti-Jordan hitting that ball. Jordan wouldn't even, like, let him approach the ball because he's like, if he comes near it, he's not going to let me hit it. And after he hit it, Greller was just like, if that happened, or if I had a chance to redo that, I would have just grabbed the ball and thrown it in the hazard so that he had no shot. That would have been really cool to see on live television. I mean, in I fair, think... like you don't want the guy you're caddying for to risk his life. Yeah. Now, <sighs> All going back to that, finish. I get Jordan Spieth, um, where he's coming from, because I, I mean, I don't. Oh, I, I was gonna say I don't value my life as well. Um, <laughs> So I, I would have hit that shot without it. I'd be like, okay, so like if I hit it and pull it off, that's great. If I hit it and fall on the cliff, that's dude, great. You know what I mean? He's a new father. Exactly, dude. Get out before the shit hits the fan. You know what I mean? <laughs> his parents and his wife were in attendance. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just hear horror stories about kids, so I understand. Um, and also, that's that's also just kind of a ridiculously hard shot to pull off because it, it was on a downslope. So typically, you'd want to have your front, your, like your weight forward, and he can't do that. Otherwise, there's a legitimate chance of him falling. So you got to keep the weight back. Then there's a huge risk that you thin the shit out of it and hit it in the hazard, anyways. Could there be a rule? Like, is do you think there's a ruling that like, I guess it would probably be like training aid, but if like he had rope in his bag, 
and he like lassoed it around himself and then just like yeah they should have like tossed a safety him on harness. A harness yeah I, I feel like we should have i mean that should be allowed it's not like a they should just have aid. harnesses handy there they're like if you're gonna yeah. play this shot like we're, we don't want to watch you die i mean I, pebble be liable to like no a lot why you play at your own risk man oh my there's no yeah, way Pebble would be li- reliable. He chose to play it. Yeah, there's there's stuff. There's you know lawsuits and shit like that. So, it's uh, you know there's there's stuff. His the ball country. was in a hazard. He chose to play it anyways. There's no way they'd be liable. Yeah. Apparently, back when they used to have carts, though, like people would drive like drive carts into that canyon all the time. Oh, perfect. Mm-hmm. Do you think he would have died like 100 percent, or do you think how many? Oh yeah. Google was it that deep? I, I, mean, I guess was, like I couldn't tell. It was what, like a 70-foot drop? Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, he's he's for sure dead. That's all right. I mean, glad he's not dead. Um, that could have been a different news story. Um, could have been a, I, If it was 2020, I think it happens. If it's, it's 2022, <laughs> better year, I guess. So. Oh, no. Two what? people died after they drove their cart off that cliff on the eighth hole. Yeah. That sounds like a cool. Maybe way to they die, need to though. fill in that cliff. <laughs> yeah, maybe we shouldn't have play golf courses with like seventy foot drops. Maybe like, they I feel like your ball should like there. Maybe we should just have a way where the ball just goes into the hazard. And it doesn't stay up. I think they need to. I think they need to breathalyze you on that hole. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. For real. If you if you have any alcohol in the system, they keep you at least thirty feet away yeah. from the cliff at all times. Or why can't we get like guardrails or like a net? Like a net underneath, you oh, know God. what I mean, to catch you if you fall. Imagine there was a like net, a top dude. golf. Yeah, <laughs> Jeez. it's like the uh, it's like the buildings in China that all have that like <laughs> around their windows so that employees don't jump. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm thinking from like a personal. That'd be kind of like, I'm just if it if Jordan Spieth did die, I feel like the only way they'd be able to play that golf tournament again if they. They're gonna put like netting or something. I mean, we'll it's figure just not. Out that's just not aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, but then like Pebble Beach is all about the aesthetics. You know those signs where you see it's like you must like you look at a sign or a rule at like a clubhouse or anywhere in the world, like anything, and you're like, yes, somebody did something really stupid to for that sign to be put up. That's what I feel like would have happened. Like, there it's like been... in uh, How I Met Your Mother with the no boogie boarding sign in front of the bar. Yeah, like. There's a story behind that, and it could have been Jordan Spieth dying, but good thing he didn't. Right. Um, Jackson got to pick his first winner. Um, I was really just – that was a pretty depressing Sunday for me watching did you that guys, uh, the tournament. Did you guys see the clip I sent you of Tiger in an interview? Like they asked him about Tom Hoagie a few years ago. He didn't know he was, he was. just He was just like, what is that? And they're like he, – he was like tied for the lead with Tiger or something. And he's just like, what? What's a Tom Hoagie? Okay. And they're like, no, like he's a he's a player. He's like, I've never never heard of him. <laughs> well, it might be time to do new Masters picks. <laughs> Are you picking Tom Hoagie? I don't know. I don't know. Jesus. I'm just saying I should have dibs. We've recorded 168 episodes without myself picking a winner. And uh, it's finally come, and it's time for the surprise, guys. Actually, now that we've brought up uh, my first ever win. Um, and, you know, I'm thinking we make this a thing every time I pick a winner. So we'll probably have like 30 of these a, a year on the podcast. Um, so we maybe get it once ever again. So, yeah. Oh, hey there. So I wrote a little uh, rap. Um, thank oh, God you pronounced Tom Hoagie's last name as Hoagie. All right, you guys ready? I think we should. Uh, is, all right, so listeners, um, just skip ahead a couple of minutes. <laughs> hey. Hey. You I beat. can't really. I can't hear the beat that well. Put yeah, it closer. Your, to your Wi Fi is so fucking bad. We can't hear the beat. <laughs> no. No. Nope. Hear it? Really? We'll just what? Well, yeah, we can hear it. We'll have to oh, just shit. edit it in post. <laughs> Everyone from the 701, stand up. That's North Dakota's area code. My name is Tom Hoagie. I don't make any bogeys. People act like they know me. I made Jordy Chokey. Nick Bavaro's a phony. Remember the name Tom Hoagie? 
Just call me Jordan Spees, father low key. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. Um All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words. I just yeah, I just hope we never get that again. <laughs> Wait a fucking like... god. Can you like rap on beat or something? <laughs> Maybe Tom Bogey. I don't think no bogeys. <laughs> Jordan Speed Chokey. Yes, sir. Nick Bavaro is a phony. Just call me Jordan Speed's father, low key. I thought the lyrics weren't that bad. What I was worried about. So obviously, I made this I think... Sunday night and I was a little zooted. And um, I was really worried Tom Hoagie's last name was like Hogue. Or something, but I was gonna do the rap that's anyways. Honestly, how I've always thought it was said. I know, right? So that's how we've said it on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think fire. maybe you should have gone like the slam poetry route. Uh, <laughs> I just don't think rapping's for you. I got the idea to throw on Eight Mile like thirty minutes ago. Probably when I sent that text so an hour ago or whatever. I got the idea to play that song. Fifty four minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well I'm sad. <laughs> I, I'm again just don't let know. me pick winners, man. Don't let me pick winners. I'm feeling good about this week too. Could you imagine if I go back to back? Oh my goodness. What if what if anytime anyone picks a winner, they have to write a rap? <laughs> I kind of like that. Awesome. I kind of like that. Yeah, that'd be yeah, awesome. We should do that. I don't. I don't want to pick winners anymore. <laughs> My name is Tom Hoagie. I don't make bogeys. Just pick I've Jordan made... Spieth whenever. He plays. Jordan Spieth go chokey. I mean, he's eventually due. Yeah, no, he is. <laughs> like Mike. Yeah. So with, with that, stogie. I'm going to pick. Uh... Who's in last place? Adam Shank. Uh, I'm gonna pick Adam Shank this week. Great. You know, I'm not. I'm not phased by the fact that he shot an 81. I think he'll shoot. <laughs> I think Firm he'll greens. shoot 58 every round in. Firm greens. The Dude, greens this course looks like. hard. I thought this course was like a joke where you shoot like 35 under or something and drink beer. I, no, I mean, this is just what happens when the greens are firm on tour. It's hard, hard to hit it close. People don't make birdies. But when it's on, like, Rory, I always win. Like, this is an easy win. <sighs> well, well, so that's he, not the gala is five under through seven, so. Uh, through seven holes? The tournament's still going on? Oh, my God. Yeah, so there's this crazy yeah. thing about, like, time change. So that tournament's <laughs> going on in Phoenix, uh -huh. and they're an hour behind us. So it's only it two. Oh, are they in Mountain? They're Mountain. Yeah, so it's only mountain. four o'clock there. Um, so there are people still playing golf. Surprisingly, also, yeah. it also is two hours sometimes because they don't do like daylight savings. Yeah. You know, I bet um, the cameras are making it brighter than it appears on camera. I bet so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Agreed. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's still bright out here, so I think they might get another hour of sunlight. Um, yeah, I mean, they they definitely won't have the field finish though. No, yeah, dude, how would you pick a winner when the first round isn't even over? <laughs> like, we got a good question. Guy. Guys like John yeah, Rahm that's... still in it. <clears throat> what is this? I mean, it's almost like you have to like pick Guess. beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, real quick comment about the, the Heath Gala is like a. Oh. Yeah. Um, why to... Why am I watching Ams play? And I like went to complain about it on Twitter, obviously at Golf Barring Pod. And I was like scrolling through other people complaining about it too. And like they were getting berated. Like you have 51 other golf tournaments throughout the year where these guys aren't on camera. Like turn the TV off. And it's like, well, sorry, I, mean, I don't want to see Jake Owen three putt every other hole he plays. I don't know. I'm fine with it, like, Thursday through Saturday. I don't want to see it on Sunday. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm watching Sunday. I didn't I'm even right know there. they existed. I'm, I'm literally watching this, and it's like, Bill Murray the other – I don't want to watch Bill Murray play golf. No disrespect to Bill Murray, but, like, 
Wait, I'm Sunday were they it. playing with the pros? Yeah. Yeah. I'd be pissed, yeah, man. They need to change my, that my boy, my boy Mark Baldwin was playing in a group with a 10 Justin handicap. And they got, I don't even know who the M was, but they got put on the clock. That's what so, I'm saying. Okay, I, I think um, I think we need to get rid of the AT&T Pro-Am. Why did it was opinion. ever a thing? I'm watching the yeah. seven-hole. Well, I think, talk, man. The field, I, I think the field's going to be better in, in the next few years. Now that Hoagie won. Is requiring, well, the PGA Tour is requiring some of these guys that played the Saudi to play the AT&T mm. in the future. I just think if they get rid of the pro am, more people will play. The oh, you're saying get rid of just the pro am portion? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get rid of the pro am and yeah, just make just it totally the AT&T at Pebble that. Beach. I, yeah, we I feel have like such... when I was, I feel like when I was younger, I used to think that was like a cool feature, and now I'm just like, okay, these guys suck. I don't want to watch them. <laughs> Who Dude, won the pro am? Do, do, does anybody I care? I don't even know. Like if, if I'm know. playing in a professional tournament, I don't want to play with a fucking 15 handicapper dragging the group behind. Like it, it just that. You either got to play with a 15 or head to Saudi. Your choice. Go to I mean, Saudi, typically, man. The oil money. <laughs> typically, you can just guess that Larry Fitzgerald won the pro am because he's a sandbagger, but I don't think, I don't think he got he it won. done this year. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he no, won. I didn't. What sucked is on, I didn't realize that CBS conveniently has Sunday's coverage like live. Is that an every Sunday thing? Yeah, I think you can typically do that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's crazy. But anyways, I'm watching the seventh hole on ESPN Plus. Shout out Nick Bavaro. And once the leaders were done, I'm like, all right, cool. It's going to go to, like, a main broadcast. No, nope. Pro-Am, Pro-Am, Am, 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 Am. Because they, don't don't they didn't have – they didn't have the – they don't have the full broadcast on ESPN Plus. I know. Speaking they do of, today. Speaking they of today. Speaking of broadcasts, I – have you guys watched today's coverage at all? No. Yeah. Haven't, haven't even. I feel like I feel like it's just like featured groups in the 16th hole. Oh, that's what they're doing. Like yeah. I, f- I feel like you're only seeing like 10 different players. See, I saw that's a lot of Brooks. Terrible. Uh, that's good. I like Brooks. Yeah. I was watching after Brooks had finished his round, but uh, I mean it was yeah, just the same was... guys over and over. Dude, early on it was like Brooks, Jordan, Shoffley. Um, it was like a bunch of dudes that like won over in Brooks. It was just so weird. I didn't get it. Yeah, I mean, like, the Golf Channel coverage started at 3 Eastern. Oh. Okay. And it was just, Two like... our time. That's it, yeah. That's how time zones work. Yeah. It's... It was just, like, John Rahm, Ricky, Hayden Buckley, like, just on repeat. Got to see a little bit of Harry Higgs, which was nice. Um, But, but I'm sorry, I don't want to... Sh- I don't want to watch Ricky shoot several over par. How, how many over is he... Uh, even his sleeper pick he is three over right now he's back boys he's freaking back um, i actually almost bet on him to top 10 up <laughs> i would I not I didn't. Oh, no. you know what you've got stuck in your mind is like the hideki matsuama and ricky fowler playoff from like 2015 that's what you get on your mind because that's all like that's all, the only thing i really think about when i think of this tournament no, he's just – I mean, he's been playing better recently. And, um, you know, I just kind of thought the odds would be pretty good on it. Yeah, he's playing and better recently. He's three over. It's a, good, it's a good day for yeah. Ricky to have a day. And he yeah, just didn't do it. Hey, Sean, sure, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. His, tomorrow well, maybe his he'll putter, shoot even. His, his putter yeah. is ice cold today. It's so bad. Yeah. Maybe he'll he break just, 80 he today. He keeps almost, missing just six footers for par. It's almost like you know that's happening. Sounds like a DePaul golfer. Um, sorry, that was inside that joke, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, my bad. That wasn't a good joke. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Um. Awkward silence. Someone get. <laughs> cops are calling for uh, me. Watch out. In, <laughs> in other news, in other news, uh, Akshay Batia WD'd today with an injury. Damn it! Oh, an injury. Geez. He's in, in he's in the corn fairy field, but oh, um, yeah, he apparently was lim- limping even before the round started, and WD'd on twelve. Too much sex. Not I was just way. about to say the same yeah. thing. Yeah, <laughs> pulled <laughs> pulled pulled his groin. Pulled groin, limping. Damn, that'll do it. His girlfriend was just probably like, "Hey, can you take the week off? Like, I kind of <laughs> want to enjoy." 
Yeah, where where is where's, the tournament, Sean? Yeah, where is it? Uh, Bogota. Yeah, where's that? Yeah, oh my god, in like Colombia. Yeah, holy Columbia. fuck! Yeah, guy... She definitely, they're definitely just yeah, vibing they're, right they're just now. chilling right now. Probably jet lag. Do you know what fixes jet lag? Sex. But you know what causes golf injuries? Sex. Yeah. So. Only is that only... why? Is that why? <laughs> Wait. I was gonna say, is that why guys with wives play worse in your opinion? But then you have to factor in once you get married. And yeah, they're not having sex. That's just so, that's yeah. just the end of your sex life. <laughs> true. True. Maybe some stuff on the side explains that. Maybe PGA's covering stuff up. I actually have a comment about sex before golf tournaments, but I don't think I can say it on the pod. So I've I'll, never had I'll sex before a golf tournament, so I have no input, but I would love to hear some input here. <laughs> it's You know what? It's nice. <laughs> I've never, I've never had sex. Full story after. I've never had sex. I feel, like it'll, if, I feel like it'll kill your drive. Like, all right, yeah. the day's over. Yeah. I just had sex. Now what? I've never I've done that golf. before a golf tournament. Don't I play golf to have more sex? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> that's the first time that's been said. <laughs> you know, you always wonder if you're the first in the world, or first in history to ever say something, and Jackson just was. <laughs> I don't think so. so. I Akshay. Doubt I doubt that. But Akshay, that's a sad WD. That's a really <clears throat> tough WD. I was worried he got, like, sand in his eyes or something. <laughs> It's, uh, I hate you so much. That's one of the best injuries of all time. <laughs> <laughs> it's very real. Water doesn't work. You know, sometimes you just you get sand in that's your just, eyes. That's just one of those things that makes, like, non-golf fans look at golf and just be like, yeah, of course. They're so I mean, soft. just... Uh, <laughs> I think most sports, if you got sand in your eye, it'd be pretty hard to do. Like, I, I just think it's golf's oh. one of the rare sports that you get sand in your eye. I bet volleyball, it a lot is a, volleyball is a big sport in other Yeah, countries. but it's not as long. Could like, happen golf in... is four and a half hours, five hours. Do you want to be I on think... the golf course for five hours? You don't get to, like, rinse your eye out, too. I think you have you know, more of a chance of getting golf. sand in your eye playing volleyball than you do. Nobody, for, nobody uh, talks about uh, Tiger winning on a broken leg. They just want to talk about the, <laughs> they just want to talk about the sand in the eye. Yeah, exactly. Golfers are tough, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, so hey, should we dude. actually do picks for uh, this week? Uh huh. Yeah, I'll get it started. <clears throat> I want to lock in my play of the year here with Brooksy. Um. Fuck you. Bro. Yeah, that's what I wanted first. Um, my sleeper, I'll go with Scotty Scheffler. Fuck you. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> you stole both my picks. <laughs> Tough locker, be a copier. Two. We'll see. If, yeah. Just, just sleeper remember, pick. I'm not a copier. S- sleeper if, pick, pick a guy that's in tenth place after nine holes. Yeah, but it's Scotty Scheffler. If, if we, if you have the same picks as me and they both and one of them wins we both got a rate of rap and it should be collaborative yeah no, i'll pick not i'll pick the, i'll pick the beat and i'll just be like all right i'll play it and i'll be like all right jackson hop in oh yeah and then steve will clip it you know what you know what i think we should do we'll do like an eight mile style rap battle i'll be future i'll officiate that's sick that'd be cool we, oh man i hope that happens fuck <laughs> we should start doing these like you right know, let's just round four let's just create a YouTube page. You know, instead of like the epic rap battles of history, we're just the epic rap battles of golf. Baby. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> All right. I love it. Um. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't feel great about anyone on this leaderboard. Thank you. Fine. You know what? I'm. I'm gonna go with Xander. What the hell? Sorry, I puked in my mouth. Someone give it's, this it's, man a manual. It's not a major, so Xander's got a decent chance. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he'll be up by five heading into the final round and just kind of not blow it. Nice. Just barely. Mm, I don't. I don't see that. Um, and you know what? We'll see, we'll have Rory Sabatini chasing him down. Mm. Like I think Brooks is probably gonna win this golf tournament. Um, you gotta factor in it's also not a major. 
Yeah, but he's he. This is the people's major, so yeah. of course you want. He's year. ready to um, go tonight. I also could see Scotty Scheffler kind of getting it done. Uh, I don't want to choose them both, and I won't. Um, I'm going to choose. Um, give me Sahith Thagala, um, out of Pepperdine University, baby. Let's go. The he's probably the powerhouse that is Pepperdine Golf. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, rookie, he, I think he'll probably win Rookie of the Year. He's he's already playing like pretty well. His so scorecard, I'm, his scorecard on this front nine is crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm going Sahith. I actually kind of Sahith. I don't I, I actually don't know how to pronounce his name, but Thagala for the win. I want Thagala. Give me Thagala. <laughs> oh, I'm We're all out of that Sports Center. Um, and then I guess that's not really a sleeper, but also a sleeper at the same time. Um. Uh, my my sleeper pick will be uh, Kevin Kisner. All right, no, fuck that, Gary Woodland. No, nice. wait, fuck that, Kevin oh. Kisner. Oh. All right, if we're counting those as sleepers, my sleeper is Abe Answer. Okay, you get two picks. We Honest two. Abe. Kevin, how do I do Kevin you know, Kisner? Let's just or Gary let's Woodland? just split the field into thirds. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I go Gary Woodland. Gary Woodland. You know, we'll we'll each pick, each pick forty guys. Um, one of us is d- destined to win. I'll take the top 40. I'll take the top 40 as well. All right, I'll take the middle 40. <laughs> All right, Nick, you got back. <laughs> Nick, you better help Adam Shank. <laughs> hey, Sean, how did Mark Baldwin do? Uh, tough Sunday. So he made he made the cut, though? What did he finish? Yeah. Uh, four Last. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, three over on Sunday. Um couple uh once he was on the clock couple couple wrong yardages mm. um from monday q oh wait so monday was... q is his caddy yeah wow is there a face behind like... monday q yeah, yeah ryan, ryan french oh. i'm gonna I mean, google his name he was all over social media is he from france they actually they made a they made a video of, of him uh, and like the tournament director told him he was no longer allowed to caddy because he t- posted too much um, during his round at Monterey Peninsula. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he, it was it was just like a prank video. And it was pretty funny. Whoa, this dude might actually be French. He, uh, you know what? Mad props to Ryan French. He is he has lost so much weight. Oh, I mean, nice. man's man's probably lost forty pounds in the last year. So good for him. Nice. So who are your picks? Yeah. Oh. Huh? I already gave my picks. Who's that? Yeah. Xander and Abe Answer. Oh, that's right. Huh. You know, Abe Answer's a big tequila guy, and I just feel like the waste management is a good setting to uh, have some tequila after a victory. Little Casamigos. No, he's got his own company. The Lo Siento Ski. Lil Wayne Gretzky. He's got his own company that I'm pretty sure he's, I think he's like partnered with like Mark Wahlberg or some shit like that. Lil Steven Goskowski. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Robin really... Scherbatsky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not on how I met your mother. Do you guys want to talk about the Ben Simmons trade today? Uh, you can watch my video. Yeah. Nobody wants to talk about Ben Simmons. True. My, how about the rock show getting Dennis Schroeder? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Ex- I'm actually excited. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm not. You know what you know what feels wrong to me? Is Porzingis in a Wizards jersey. Yeah, that's that kind of feels right. Honestly it feels really right. right. It sits right with me. To belong a foreign player who will I don't watch him play basketball anyway, so Sucks. Actually, no, he's just injury prone. Rest in peace, Chris Stops. Uh, but yeah, that's waste management. It's always fun because I like watching that on Super Bowl Sunday. I think that's what, what? makes it. Oh, wait. I, uh, wait. You don't I... like watching it on the Super Bowl Sunday? Won't you have to pick? No. You don't want to I go like pick commercials. Like the beginning of the game? I watch the beginning of the game. Super Bowl for the commercials. It's over. I. It's five o'clock. It's only four o'clock. If it, if the game's at five o'clock, it's only four o'clock in Arizona, thanks to time zones. So, 
I doubt they're done. You Unless always get to watch up. both, dude. You always get to watch both. I hope you have good. Am I right, skills. Sean? I like commercials. Nick. I, don't I have OT. a feeling. I have a feeling you're going to be skipping to the waist during the commercials. I might have to reevaluate this Sunday plan. I hope they move up the tee um, times. To be honest. To to change topics here, uh, Jackson, Ooh. you brought up that you wanted to talk about the Bryson uh, stats pre and post bulk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I'm gonna make a YouTube video about it. I mean, it's just clearly, (laughs) it's clearly like, what what do you get out of it? A U.S. Open? Congrats. Um, Yeah, I mean, he had and it was no fans. Had uh, had more wins pre bulk. Um, Scoring average was point one strokes higher. (laughs) That's Uh, the difference maker. Over time, that'll add up. But he's hitting the ball twenty seven now yards it, further. N- now it's got it. It's got to make you wonder: was it worth it? I think the experiment you know, was. You know, at least he tried I think it. He'll probably see like the long lasting effects of the steroids later in life. So mm. I, I guess you probably can't say like. I don't was know. It those testicles have probably already shrunk. Shrunk. <laughs> was it worth it? Me. So. Uh uh, I don't. If he was a so. better wedge player, maybe. I, maybe I he think took those I think, six months oh, to work wedges, on his wedges. His wedges are so bad. I think if you combine, you know, just looking at these stats, you know, he's got the major, but fine. The rest of it's unimpressive. But if you combine that with these injuries that he's all of a sudden having, I think he was better off beforehand. He could he could have bulked up a little bit. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I think, think he, he did go overboard yeah. in Corona. Real quick. Uh, and I think it's ridiculous that, like, of course he's trying to say that these injuries aren't caused by his bulk, but there's no doubt that they are. Mm-hmm. Like, you no. physically yeah. cannot put that much strain on your body and expect not know, to have, get injured. Have either of you seen the, the TikToker, TikTok, TikToker who calls himself the gym rat golfer? Um, Thanks so. no. Good. I don't even know if I want to send you a video so you don't get his stuff, but his, like can't remember his name but he's literally the most annoying human being i've ever seen on tiktok did, did you guys wait did you guys look at that tiktoker i sent you earlier today no i'm oh, trade oh, deadline day so. he uh <laughs> he's this tiktoker he's got the worst swing i've ever seen and he just keeps calling out good good and they keep like commenting on all of his stuff <laughs> oh yeah and like he keeps posting these videos claiming that his like swing speed's one twenty and shit like that, and his swing is just disgusting. No, I saw that. I did see that. I love that guy. I'm glad that he does that. <laughs> um, this guy is like, he thinks he's like, he's kind of like, he has the personality of Bryson, um, and all he does is talk about how like nobody on the PJ tour works out like he does and they're on um, we're going to see he just he like made fun of Rory's workouts just seems like just is such a weird guy okay. sounds like we should put him on tour he's so deserving of it he goes to the gym most people who get really into working out on the PJ tour start struggling with injuries yeah and like if you want to talk about like working out like go look at tiger's workout regimen back in his like prime it was fucking insane yeah look and at all the injuries look, yeah look what that did for him tiger woods by noon has already gulped down 1500 calories played 38 holes of golf and hit the range for two and a half hours and got a workout you know you know what i kind of think tiger might win the masters this year he's due it's it's the year of the tiger was it really? Yeah. yeah. Nick, do you just know that because of NBA 2K? Yeah, pretty much. Also, we're gonna uh, we're gonna see Tiger next week. Let's go. Uh, he's like hosting the Genesis Invitational. Hosting and playing. Let's go. Can't wait. No, he's he's just just hosting. And hitting some shots. I bet he hits some shots on the. Oh yeah, of course he'll hit some shots. Yeah, he'll probably EPs. he'll probably put on some like little clinic on the range. The PP yeah. points, triple P. No, but if you look at, some I, uh, of the, I just also, sent you guys I read... to TikTok. 
I uh, read an article today where Morikawa was calling out the PIP because he really? finished 11th in it. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty pissed. Let's do Poor what, what, Morikawa. I feel bad for Colin. What did he do I mean, for that, me all season as far as PIP points go? Nothing. Do you think playing in tournaments majors? gets you – Or Playing major, in golf sorry, tournaments yeah. doesn't get you the PIP points. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, he was just – he was just saying that, like, the top, the fact that it's only ten people, it's kind of ridiculous. Maybe don't be boring, the maybe, guy. Maybe don't be like the most boring dude. out on three million. Don't be the most boring major winner of recent history, and you won't come in eleven. I don't think PIP he's points. that boring. He's so boring. Of recent, you do know that Danny Willett won a major, right? Mm-hmm. Well <laughs> deserving. You think he won Augusta by luck? No, 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 no. Too much, too much, too much for a Thursday. No. Too much for a Thursday afternoon. Patrick Reed won the Masters by luck. Nope, yeah, nope, he nope. lucked into that helicopter finish, and Ooh, I think golf has Tiger Woods luck, luck into his land too. Victory. I think it was probably luck of the Irish. Actually, pretty much, uh, if you look at pretty much any winner on tour, any single week, there is luck involved. Yeah. It undoubtedly takes luck to win on the PGA Tour. There must be no luck in the Anybody Irish land because look at Rory McIlroy. Look at uh, the Rory, Rory McIlroy. As Donald Trump stated, the harder you work, the luckier you get. So Danny Wilt, Patrick Reed, they deserve to be lucky. I'd like to say, I don't think that's a Trump quote. <laughs> no, I know. Ty Lopez posted <laughs> an old Trump quote of that where he was talking about knowledge. and That's just in my head. Yeah, I mean, oh, Ty Lopez, that's one guy I look up to. It's probably your first mistake is sarcastically believing that. Okay. Uh, th- that's all right. That's enough for today. Um, I'm just joking. Allergic I'll talk to, to air. you guys Monday or something. Hmm. Uh, uh. I always look at myself in the screen. I never, like, I can't look. Sometimes look at, like, the people, but then it's just weird. Anyway, that's for another day. Uh, I don't okay. think that day will Well, thanks, everyone, for listening to <laughs> episode 169. Um, Not a prime number. Let us, let us know how you feel about Jackson's rap. <laughs> yeah, I hope I get at least one DM. DM me at Mr. Golfball. Yeah, Ryan, we'll look forward to your DM. Hopefully. Uh, it's, always, so it's always worse when you say that, and then they don't do it. And it's like, no, uh, now he's going to do it for sure, just because I asked him to. All right, all right. Well, uh, click the like button, hit that subscribe button on YouTube, and we'll see you guys later.